She too hot, honey. <laughs> Ooh, honey, she's like a computer. Hold, hold. <laughs> honey, she she's got the. making all kinds. She of got songs. the technology, honey. I needed to download the app. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Marissa Runyon and this is ET Style. I'm here today with celebrity hairstylist and makeup artist Joey Maloof. And some of his clients include Jessica Alba, Goldie Hawn, and Lisa Rinna. And he's here today to show us how we can achieve this perfect, perfect center parted sleek hair look. Nailed it. So the first thing that um, I did was I parted Marissa's hair. I wanted to get a perfect middle part. Um, sometimes you really have to just press the root down because we're doing a super sleek look. So we wanna make sure that when it's pressed down that it's straight, but she has a little bit of a cowlick here. So we kind of cheated it a little to one side. That cowlick is my struggle. <laughs> we're starting on damp hair and I'm going to apply um, a, a product by Rita Hazan, who is a hair genius. This is called Triple Threat. And it's perfect for a super sleek look because you want to make sure that your split ends don't look busted. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I mean, I know you have a fresh haircut, but everybody has split ends. And if you're going to do a super sleek look, this is an amazing product for sl split ends. Like, obsessed with this. Okay, so I'm going to do a dime size. Um, so that's really just two pumps for somebody that has you know, a lot of hair. I feel like you have a lot of hair, Marissa. So you can use less if you have finer hair. And then I'm just gonna um, just brush it through all the ends. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. After that, I'm gonna add a little bit of Gold Lust Nourishing Oil by Oribe. I'm gonna do just one pump of that because this is actually like oil. And I don't wanna, um, you know, make anything look too oily. So I'm gonna start in the back and like almost comb my, my hands under Marissa's hair like this so that the oil is getting, you know, I want it to get everywhere. Real quick, before I blow dry, I wanna show you how I got this part on Marissa. I'm using a rat tail comb, which has this amazing tool on the other end of it. And I'm basically just going in and I went in like, you know, five times and you go in with the point of it and it picks up the hair and then you split them. And then it gives you that perfect part of down the middle. So it should be somewhere in between your brows and between your eyes. If it's too off center, it'll look weird. So then I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer, but a really quick tip before I turn it on, I wanna take the brush and make this as tight as possible because I wanna make this flat. And then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer. I'm gonna put some heat on it so that it really flattens it out as much as possible. Am I pulling your hair too hard? No. <laughs> I always wonder how everyone gets that like super flat look because I have that cowlick and mm -hmm. it puffs up on one side. When you're letting it cool, you can just leave your hand on it while it's cooling and it'll re it'll flatten it out as well. You can oh. already see how shiny that is just so after pretty. blow drying it for like two seconds. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You don't have to take perfect sections because we're gonna use a flat brush instead of a round brush so that we can get the hair as straight as possible so that we use less heat from the flat iron. So when you're blow drying the hair, you wanna remember towards the hairline, you don't wanna pull the hair back too much because then you're gonna get this like C shape here. You wanna pull the hair forward so then you get that like flat, you know, perfect look that all the celebrities are doing. Also, when you're blow drying towards the ends, what I like to do is I like to bend it in a C shape towards the chest, and then you put a little heat on that, and then you end up getting a little bit of like a nice kind of 90s flip, um, which I think adds a little life to a, a straight look. Oh, I love that. The most important thing to remember is you need to get that root really flat. So this is not like a lazy day kind of look. I know it looks super easy. Like, let me just like rub the iron, like the flat iron through my hair. But what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna end up rubbing the, you know, the flat iron throughout your hair and doing sections more than once. And that's a no-no because you don't want to damage your hair. So the blow dry is super important in this look. Good to know. But yeah, I definitely do that. I, I like rough dry my hair and then just try to pull the iron through and get the same look and you, it just doesn't work. How frizzy is your hair though, girl? So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, Oribe 
is a super soft lacquer um, shine serum that's really good for like a heat protectant. Now I'm ready to flat iron the hair. So I'm gonna take my first section. I'm gonna use that same rat tail comb that I used. Um, combs are really great uh, for when you're flat ironing. I like to comb through, you know, uh, with a fine tooth comb and make sure that there's no knots in it. And I'm gonna take my T3 flat iron and I'm gonna start flat ironing the hair. We want it on that medium heat, not too high. And then I'm gonna keep that same curve towards the ends because I kind of really loved the way that it looked. I feel like that stick straight, it yeah. looks good. I feel like, but um, you know, adding that little curve just makes it a little bit more modern. If the blow dry is really good, you're not gonna have to press the root. For someone with more curly hair, you're gonna need you know, to take the iron all the way to the root and make sure that you press that. And then in every section, make sure it's as flat as this. Um, but that's what also a really great blow dry can do for you. It'll do the majority of the work. I feel like the iron, like if you over iron it, your hair kind of like loses its luster. Yeah. It's almost like it becomes like, mm -hmm. she death drops, but like not in the fabulous. <laughs> oh, I wish I could death drop. That would have been so fun. When you do a look like this, how many days do you think you can keep Oh, lasting? girl. This is fa the fabulous thing about this look is that it can last you a, a bunch of days, actually. Like, a, I, I would say at least three. The next morning, you can put dry shampoo in it, mm -hmm. and then you have like a, a fresher, the same look, but it, it's just refreshed. Mm -hmm. Now let's get detailed, okay? Because yes. you know you can't just like walk around thinking that the wind is not going to blow and that <laughs> this is going to stay like perfection all day. So here's some tips on actually how to keep it in place and make it look amazing. Yes, please. There's a few things. If you have not so frizzy hair, which I mean, everybody has frizzy hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, even my hair is frizzy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take a strong and flexible hairspray. This one is by Sasha Wan, which I really like because a flexible hairspray is your best friend, especially with a look like this. So you take these kind of uh, bristle, toothbrush, you know, they sell at the beauty supply stores. I see them everywhere. So I'm gonna take the toothbrush and I'm gonna hairspray it. I like to do this for, for the really front front part because that's the part that kind of always ends up stringy. And then you can really perfect the line. Now I'm gonna show you something a little outside of the box. What is this? That's a makeup brush. This, what are you doing with that? This is a makeup brush, <laughs> correct. And all you need is makeup brush. I like to use like one of these like fluffy ones. So I'm gonna, you know, use a lot of hairspray and put it on this brush, okay? And I'm gonna go like this so it's like not too wet. And then I'm going to what? like paint the hair down. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna keep doing this until every hair is perfect and this where is I want it. Such and what's cool tip. great about this tip is that it's gonna add extra shine, which you can see. Yeah. It's gonna make every hair be in place. And what I love about this is it's not gonna have like comb or brush lines. Right. It's gonna just, you know, it's almost like hair brushing hair. This is one of my favorite tips. I like do this on set all the time. You so, can just tame a fly away real quick. Yeah, one side's perfect. Oh my yeah. God, let's do the other side, okay. <laughs> I mean, girl, I can perfect it all day long, but I think you get the gist. I absolutely love this look. It is so, so perfect. And now I know how to get it so, so perfect. So thank you so much for being here, Joey. And for having me. Please let us know in the comments. Are you going to try this look at home? Are you going to try this little fun brush? What about this or, one? Or that little fun brush? Don't forget to subscribe to ET Style, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>